What's up, everybody? The CEO of the Moneymaker, the one and only Storm Taker, baby. And I'm back with another mother loving video, guys. And for this one, guys, I got five beginner tips for anyone just trying out squad busters, guys. So if you like this video, like this video and make sure you subscribe, baby. Let's jump on into the five tips. And I also got a special bonus tip for you guys who stick around till the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get into that damn video, baby. Number one, uh, tip number one, when starting off, one of the greatest beginner starting troops, guys, is Greg. He is a great unit to start the game with the matches with, guys, as he's able to cut down trees. So you get so much values of cutting down the golden trees, which are scattered on the map, uh, getting gems, and also getting coins to buy another buster or unlock the chests. Uh, the guys, this game is all about speed. The more chesses you get, the better for you to win, guys. So Greg is one of the best starting unit, guys. And always choose Greg if you are given that chance. Number two is pay attention to modifiers, guys. I've seen a lot of people been playing squad busters and they are not paying attention to modifiers. Modifiers are so important when it comes onto the game. They are the bread and butter of the game, guys. You got stages, you got modifiers where you get a lot of boots on the ground. There's no use for getting the chicken. There's not that much use of getting a hog rider since you already got modifiers for you to move around the map fast. You get the goblin rush, guys. Goblins running around with coins. It's good to use melee units such as bow, such as colt, to take out these guys because they take them out a lot faster and they have that range to shoot them once you stop moving, guys. This game, you cannot move while you're attacking, guys. So that those troops that has that range, that attack range, uh, will beat out troops like the Barbarian. So Colt will take out these goblins way faster than the Barbarian as the goblins are zooming across you guys. So choose range troops, guys. If it's gonna, 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 gonna to the sky, I'll get no make sense when I got millions on my mind. All right, am I ready? All right, number three, pay attention to gem mine timers and location guys they are scattered on each level guys each level has a gem mine and basically they have these signs that show you what time when and where the gem mine locations are guys please pay attention to these guys they're normally fine at the center of the map but the gem mine can make or break you guys there's over a hundred gems located here and also behemoths and bosses which contains a lot of gems and coins guys so if you do want to win your match the best way is to collect from the gem mine and take out behemoths guys like golems bowlers to name a few and the giant robots guys so do pay attention to the location of the gem minds and the timer guys number four too many gregs remember the first tip guys you always get greg at the start too many gregs are a waste guys you don't need no more than two gregs guys you cutting down two trees at the same time the two trees are located together you have a bunch of greg greg do not have any other good attributes but cutting down trees so please do not have too many gregs are you gonna be a weaker version of a barbarian guys and number five the last one each modifier requires different synergies guys and this is so important you have modes like doppelganger you will not want to have a bunch of chickens running around with you will not want to have a bunch of hog riders running around with mods like synergies like this the doppelganger for example works perfect with witches that spawn little skeletons having a bunch of witches spawning a bunch of skeletons having a bunch of barbarians a bunch of cults doing gunshots all over the place guys i'm telling you modes do matter guys i will add a couple more modes and show you my favorite brawler uh my favorite squad busters that's not that don't even make sense my favorite buster for each of these modes i do leave the bloopers in guys because i want you guys to see how it goes so i will show you a couple of my favorite busters for each of these modifiers guys you got tree chopping down i love greg for that you know all right guys so and the final bonus tip for all you guys that stuck around chickens are one of the worst troops at the moment guys the chicken 
does grant you a boost, a booster boot, or whatever you call it, a speed boost. But they are one of the worst troops at the moment, guys. Their stats are poor. Everything about them is poor, guys. So don't get no damn chicken, baby. We don't need them. I got an ad playing behind me, don't I? I'm out of here. Look how they be mobbing, bitch, we came up from the bottom. Can't even say the trenches. I guess we had it good until they knocked out of the